What is a museum? Is it simply a collection of artifacts? What if museums were everywhere for everyone? How can we redefine the meaning and power of a museum? When we 3D scan an object like a coral, we're capturing the three-dimensional properties, the geometry, the physicality of that object. I think it's an incredibly powerful technology that allows us to bring these Smithsonian objects into your living room, into your backyard, into your classroom. We're starting this partnership between the Smithsonian, the Hydrus, and Adobe, focusing on coral reefs. Our goal is to figure out ways to leverage 3D scanning and augmented reality technology to unlock all of that collection. I think the power of AR is that it can bring museum collections into your pocket through your phone, and that phone becomes a portal into another world. In 2020, the Hydrus and the Smithsonian embarked on a collaborative project called Coral Collections. This was a way to bring accessibility and visibility to coral specimens housed at the Smithsonian. The Hydrus is able to create the sort of storytelling aspect. Why do we want to care about these environments? The Smithsonian is able to actually provide the physical models because they have this incredible collection. And then Adobe is able to create this really beautiful artistic immersive experience that really resonates with people. When you're building augmented reality experiences, many times you need tools to create realistic materials, 3D models, and so we have a whole set of tools at Adobe with the Substance 3D suite as well as Adobe Aero. They can help you really create these very photorealistic experiences and bring them to life. It's really important to bring these kinds of experiences to people because it helps promote empathy and understanding of marine environments and what they're facing right now. I think augmented reality really allows museums to reimagine and reinvent themselves because it ultimately allows them to expand how the audience can immerse and experience all the artifacts, the history and the culture that they already have. We have over 155 million objects and specimens, and less than 1% of those objects can ever be on physical display. This technology allows the viewer or the public to draw their own narrative or to create their own stories and allow these objects to have many new chapters going into the future.